we've been building wonders in this campaign, and that's been very different. Um, and I like to continue to do that, especially in the capital, Lisbon, and uh, like my second settled city. Because, you know, we have a pretty good empire to the north, they're building a lot of things, and they're doing their, you know, they're, they're, they're picking up their slack, which usually doesn't happen. Uh, I think it's because I, I grabbed those cities so early on in the game that they've really started to snowball, and they're doing a lot better. I will say the capital is looking, you know, a little bit, I don't know, look a little wonky, look, looking a little, little uninteresting, because, uh, you know, the other two coastal cities have nice stuff. I wish we could name mountains. That'd be so awesome. Or if they just gave the mountains some sort of name, random name. I wonder how hard that would be, honestly. Especially if you put it, you know, comp like you could just call it the Germanic, I don't know, I don't know. Look into some of the civilization's mountains within their territory and then just name it after what they, you know, what kind of mountain ranges are in their, their zone. I don't know, but this is just a cool mountain. My point is, uh, you know, we've got the Great Lighthouse built here in Lisbon, which is looking awesome, right next to the harbor and the lighthouse. Um, and then we have the... Uh, the Colossus over here with, you know, our whales and our crabs and the harbor. It's looking all really good together. Uh, we also settled our... What is this? I don't even know how many cities we have now at this point. But we've settled Ulm. And uh, we also have marble now integrated into the Empire. We're going to get some copper working very soon. And in the last one, we uh, we also settled here. Which we're going to go after these pearls. And, uh, and I don't really want to stop here. If my amenities will allow it, then I'm just gonna keep pumping these guys out. This is great. So, um, because I know that it's gonna it's gonna take time for me to build up this navy, anyways. So, either way, I'm gonna need to wait. Here, come out over here, and I'll probably send this scout to um, to Kazakhstani to this part of the Kazakhstani landmass. Ah, uh, I just you know I hope that they change the continents. It does. Uh, I guess I can understand how. This continent is so close to this continent, but it's it's a different continent, and it's just so confusing that they're both Kazakhstani. Like, that that should change. I think that needs to change. I don't know. It just, it's, it's called continents, and it's very hard to talk about. Like, I'm on a continent technically, but technically this continent is two different continents. <laughs> and I get it. It's supposed to be like Eurasia. It's supposed to, you know, be that sort of, you know, furry, blurry line. Of like what's a continent, but uh, when it comes to two different land masses, I think they for sure always need to be uh, their own continent. But I don't know. We'll see. I get how that could be complicated. Anyways, uh, let's let's we have to do something with the trader. We could throw you to Ulm, and I probably should focus less on international trade routes, especially if I take over the world. That might not be the best thing that people are looking forward to. So let's go to. Oh my guess, give them more food and production. Actually, so am I coming from, yeah, I'm coming from my capital. I, I wanted to establish a trade route with Washington for a while just to make the city even better. Maybe we should do that instead. Give them extra food, extra production. Let's do that. We're still getting gold from all these internal trade routes. And again, I know that at some point in the world, you know, most of the people are not going to be cool with me because I'm you know being aggressive and things like that. So uh, relying on internal trade routes are going to be pretty important. And I guess if I really wanted to, I could give... Well, this is for Ulm. Do I want to help Ulm out? I mean, not not really. I actually want to help out this, this city instead. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm okay with that. Oh, geez. Okay, this is apparently when all of our trade routes are, are up. I guess that's okay. Um, do we want to go to the capital? Let's go to the capital. Internal, yeah. I mean, give the, you gotta give the capital a little bit of something, something, right? I think so. So a lot of new trading posts have been established, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's definitely a few things that I need to improve in terms of tiles. And, you know, I don't even know if this guy... I think I should probably consider retiring this guy, because he only helps out classical and medieval, medieval era naval units within two tiles. So, yeah, let's go ahead and form a fleet, I guess. So pretty much it's like we just got two caravels and, and put them into one. It's, it's a lot more powerful, so... And I think he's moving faster, too. Maybe. I don't know. So, I think that was a good idea. But we got to get him to the front line somehow. Because we need to use him. So, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Wait, I've already got marble. I have marble, dude. Why would I want your, your marble? Is that a glitch? Because that's not supposed to happen. Usually, you don't see if you have the same amenities I thought. Um, I'm going to say no to this. Sorry. Sorry, dude. 
Try to pull a fast one on me. I see how you are, Scythia. Not as cool as my girl Vicky. Still trying to hook up Vicky and Brad, but it's not it's not working out for us. Not working out for them. Okay, so let me try to take out this barbarian encampment with my privateer. Let's see if I can I I, I can do that, I, I believe, but I yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Okay, hold on. Before I press this this button. Gain 50 science on standard speed, so it won't be 50 for each natural wonder tile here or Jace. I don't know any natural wonder. There's no natural wonders in Kazakhstani. Or in wherever the American continent was, the northern continent is. Uh, natural wonder tile here or adjacent. I could go to the Dead Sea. I don't want to go all the way over there. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I don't want that. I'd have to put that guy. I'd have to escort him over there. It's going to be annoying. Nope, 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 nope. I don't think so. Yep, I do not think so. You could probably use an entertainment district as well. A bank. Oh, you can build an aqueduct. Uh, you haven't built an aqueduct, have you? Oh, I don't want to build... Yeah, that's why I haven't built it. Because I would be re replacing like some amazing food tiles. But then again, you're not going to grow without the aqueduct. I I'm going to get neighborhoods, though. So it's all good in one turn. So I don't need to worry too much about that. Let's build the Hansa. Yeah, let's build the Hansa. Can I, can I find... There we go. Three. There we go. Perfect. I love the Hansas. These are really awesome districts. Yeah, these are very cool. That extra production, I think, is really, really underestimated. When I did my leader breakdown of Frederick, I don't think I considered how awesome it is to have a specialty production district. Production is big. Production's really useful. And, um... You know, it's it, production isn't super immediately connected to a victory like faith is or like science is, but production is used for every victory. So I think I might have under underestimated that initially. And uh, we'll see how this campaign goes by the end of it, but I think I might have might change a lot of people's minds on Germany by the end of this series. And I, and I hope I do because I'm changing my own mind. All right, um, let's... I, I do like going to these internal routes. Five? How are we getting five and six production here? Well, let's go to Lisbon. I think I might change all of my trade routes to just internal. Okay, so I know I can settle here. It's going to be a crap city, though. A really, really big crap city. Uh, let's connect you to the swordsman. I need to upgrade that swordsman to a musketman. I can get dyes, which is a unique resource, and I could probably get two of them, too. This is a good location, I think. So let's go around there. I, that's not the exact spot that I'm going to go, but, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, let's upgrade you. I'm losing money. Because uh, I've been purchasing a lot of things. Do we want to... You know, it helps housing if we... We should probably get the copper. Yeah, let's get the copper and then we'll get the crabs. Why would I build a farm over both of those, you know, freaking resources? Oh, man, Cracklord. Almost got me there. Almost. Please. Ah, I just hate that this is stuff. this stuff is impassable. I get it. Makes sense, but kind of sucks. I wish there were some that were passable. Some locations. Because, you know, in the you could pass through over Russia, right? I don't know. I might sound really, really stupid to Europeans. But um, I thought there's a route. You can pass over northern Russia through that sea, you know, passing the North Pole. And then all the way through Scandinavia and things like that. It might be, you know, really hard, really rough. Military academies and seaports generate one science. I like that, but uh, we don't have any of those things, so that's not good. Receives 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. That's kind of cool, but I need to keep... I think I need to keep all this stuff. Oh, I don't think I need to keep production towards spies. That is one very clear reason thing that I have... Yeah. Two plus science, culture, and faith, and gold from each city-state you're suzerain of. I only have one gold from each of your uh, envoys at city-states. That's kind of a good idea. That's actually a really great idea. Let's go with that. Give me... This should be giving, giving me a lot of extra gold. Unless it takes next turn. There we go. Nice. All right. That worked out pretty well. Probably should have changed that a little while ago. Got to pay more attention to the, the smaller details, some of the smaller policies. Okay, so you can stay there. Uh, I'll upgrade the swordsman as soon as we settle that next city. And then you can come out towards the crabs. Gotta get those crabs. You gotta be like our leader. Me. Okay, Crystal Redentor. <laughs> 
Krista, uh, let's actually go after the zoo. It's only going to take four turns, and uh, we will be approaching... I didn't realize late-game governments really soon. And it's because we're so high in technology. So, let's... Uh, oh, we have to keep you there. Good, you got a promotion, which is nice. And I am now also considering... Let's see here. Who has the worst housing crisis? Cri crisis? You probably do. You've been doing. You've been a pretty good city for me, but um, yeah, we need to purchase another settler. We're gonna do a little bit more, so we settle here because I gotta fill in these gaps, or else I'm gonna lose my mind. And we're gonna have a pretty strong empire. I think the human race we might even be able to launch two invasions: one naval invasion for Rome, and then one land invasion to just take out Greece. I don't think that's a bad idea. Maybe we want to try something like that. Um, especially if we get access to Rough Riders pretty soon. Oh, sewers are going to be great for housing. Yeah, we got to go after that first. Build two neighborhoods. Well, unfortunately, we probably won't. Yeah, we wouldn't have had enough time to build that. Neighborhood for sure. Yes, your growth has slowed down. Oh, my goodness. There's a six spot. I'd be replacing the cattle. Which is only giving us three yield. Oh, I haven't... Have I improved that? There's no way. No, I think I did. No, yeah, yeah. It hasn't been improved. All right, well, it's not been improved anyways. I hate replacing resources, but I know that that's just something that needs to happen late game. So this isn't really doing much for us anyways, and six extra housing is really, really nice. Although I could just buy this tile. Ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe I'll just buy this tile and not replace any resources. That's a better idea, I think. They're both going to... It, no matter what, it's going to be about 170 gold, so... Let's just do it. Bam. I've got the money for it. And uh, and we need to come back home. So you come back over here. I need to do that with the other one too. And then uh, no more barbarians popping up. We won't get any housing from this, but that's... Uh, and also we don't get any amenities. So this is all around kind of sucky, but... You know, I could settle coastally, but there's still going to be this huge gap, and I, I hate it. I hate it. So we can't do that. So let's have, like, let's set off. We're going to put a big naval invasion from Ulm. That's going to be uh, our goal. I don't think this guy should take too long. He is, I think he gets extra movement. Six versus, oh, no, most of these guys have six movement. Okay, so let's uh, let's put you there. Take this guy down. There, I, I'm pretty sure there's a way for me to plunder that. I have not actually done it myself, but I know that their ships can do that. I just don't know like all the details about it, so hopefully that works out. We need to improve these fish resources. This is a great city. Lots and lots of fish. Lots and lots of fish. Alright, and um, there we go. Coastal Raid. Cool. That's, uh, that's really nice. That is really, really nice. Okay, so do you need a neighborhood? Not really, actually. St. Louis, you're doing good. St. Louis, you're doing good. Factory? Maybe. Commercial Hub? Maybe. Um, yeah, you know what? Another yeah, another trade route would be really nice. I'm loving these trade routes. I am loving this stuff. It is so nice. Uh, I'd get two from building it next to this river. Here is, is three extra because it's also next to the center, city center. But, uh, you know, I'll bite the bullet and do it. Boom. Keep the economy high. A library? I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, because I just built the campus. I was like, why didn't I build that earlier? Duh, because I just built it. Built the campus. Don't need any extra faith. I do like four extra gold in the capital. That's super cool. And then Brussels. So we need to spread this out evenly. I cannot believe I had to put so many envoys in this damn city-state. Uh, I would love, by the end of this campaign, to take out another city-state. I do realize that that would be something that is a smart idea as Germany. Uh, I'm going to try, but obviously we won't be able to do anything until we land on this next continent because there's no coastal city state which is very unfortunate maybe Kabul Afghanistan maybe there okay you're gonna sleep and uh, can't give you a promotion just yet but you know we'll we'll, we'll, tr we'll try it out a little bit uh, we also are approaching U-boats gotta get out U-boats gotta use that okay so what do I have um can you move out of the way? Great merchant. Cool. Grants uh, toys. That's right. That is a uh, an amenity in Civ 6. A uniquely manufactured luxury 
resource which provides four four extra no freaking way no way i'm making toys at 1750 ad yeah boy just don't tell me it's gonna be hard to like enact that that would kind of suck so i'm gonna have like two caravels one frigate and one uh whatchamacallit privateer i should maybe i could consider launching my invasion now no way four amenities Am I reading this right? How? How is that so much? I might have to wait till next turn. And also, it's not gonna. It only impacts like the, I think four city or some, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Housing, housing, housing. I know it's gonna be better. Enemy cat. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, a spy from England's empire was captured during a steel tech boost mission. A spy from. The English Empire. So I sp I took theirs, not they didn't take mine. What are you even doing? I don't even know what you're doing. I thought we were. Uh, I thought we were doing something. I guess not. I don't know what happened to this. I don't, so I can't steal any technology because they don't have any technology to steal. That's kind of nice. I guess we'll do this. So we so we stopped her spy, which is cool. So at least it, it's a mutual it's a mutual agreement. Also, a lot of these denouncement effects have been going away. The only person that doesn't like me anymore is Teddy, which <laughs> is reasonable. I would say a little bit reasonable. Okay, anything, anything new? Again, there's got to be a new tab. There needs to be just new, new policies. Um, I don't think I got anything. Yeah, there's no nothing new here, so I should probably keep this the same. Housing gold from trade routes. That's nice. Extra faith amenities with. Garrison units, 50% discount on uh, upgrades. I like all this stuff. So, yeah, we're going to keep all this. I got my zoos, which means we're going to get even more amenities, I think. Scorched Earth, Crystal Redentor. Do I want to build that? Tourism output? Maybe. Uh, declare war of territorial expansion. Used to declare war on a power that borders your empire. Must have two of your cities within ten tiles of two opponent cities. Ooh. That would be kind of hard, but I'd probably be able to get a Casas Bella against England. Mobilization unit maintenance cost reduced by... Oh, there we go. By two. Cool. I'll, I'll get even more money. What's that? Oh, antiquity site. Duh. I don't know if that was... I don't know. I got confused. Don't ask. I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> don't ask me what I was thinking there. Okay, so you also very much... Everyone needs a neighborhood, so let's just assume we've got to mass produce these neighborhoods. There we go. Six right there off the coast too that's a beautiful spot the land value is going to be great there as long as you can get a loan you'll be all right neighborhood um you really need one do we have any six sixes no well i can settle for a five i can do a five yeah let's do one here yeah because i don't want to i don't want to replace this it's too nice so let's do with that this is going to slow down. I'm definitely going to slow down in terms of my naval naval production because um, I'm got to I've got to build these I've got to build these neighborhoods. So naval units are going to have to wait for a little bit. Um, I've already sent. Oh, should we give you? Yeah, let's give Olm some stuff. Let's do that because eventually you need to be able to produce things a little bit faster for me, buddy. Sorry, don't mean to pressure you, but um, yeah. And then I like this city. Let's give you a little bit of something something. Do we have any wonders that I have not built? I mean, I probably shouldn't even be looking at this stuff because I've got to build neighborhoods. Because I've been doing pretty bad housing-wise. I have not been doing very good housing-wise. So, I'm pretty much sacrificing my economy to, to get more housing in. And I think it's worth it if I'm making 100 gold per turn. It's not that bad. Um, no, I'm going to skip over Jerusalem. I Yeah, I don't mind. Production for every industrial zone. Oh my goodness, yes. Because those are that's that's how our Hansas can work. Now, who do I like more, Toronto or Brussels? They're both around the same spot. Probably Brussels. Maybe I can get the suzerain with them. It's gonna be difficult though. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop right there. Things are getting pretty exciting. We're about to settle two new cities. I'm actually surprised they didn't get there in time, but uh, that's okay. Should be pretty fun in the next one. Now, admittedly, I have not really been thinking about a possible victory type for this scenario. I've just been kind of doing what I feel is, is definitely right. Um, science victory obviously seems like a big one. 
Uh, I think I probably could still approach a cultural victory. Uh, we have to go after those archaeological sites, though. And then domination, which I know a lot of people are kind of starting to hint at. Um, it's possible, but we'll have to wait to see how the next couple videos go before we make that decision. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.